Anyway, there's the man of the hour under his crossed out, over his crossed out cross. <laughs> That's musky. <laughs> musky the musky. It is a message destined to carry Sacramento into a flourishing and prospering future. And due to the, its historic importance, it is hereby in his words. I guess that's musty. It is my unqualified, yeah, pleasure to join you on the day when you, when your well-wrought phase finally comes to fruition. For if ever a slogan carried weight, the words were loaded with meaning. It is the rallying cry with which you brought your derive to be done. And no, the phrase I'm alluding to is not getting the stage, not doing it S-A-G, S-A-C, was a semicolon next to it. Not lean into it, not leading idly while becoming ideal, pulling together, doing your part, playing the game, nor even we pirates go backing you in getting uh, an ideal organ place or Sacramento rocks. You tell a musky. No. The one that says it all for me, and the truest ever uttered, is the one that proclaims Sacramento. Best dot com. Wait, best dot org dot ever. But, of course, there's all. all there's another phrase that qualifies as a rallying cry in our ideal or crusade and it's especially pertinent to this time and place because this is the statement that reads ideal orgs are designed to present the full body of LRH technology and bring to bear all our programs for uplifting populations. Accordingly, and with respect to our distinguished guests, here indeed is an ideal org to protect young people in this poppy pill culture and provide them with a chance to find themselves a chance to experience the pure emotion of the heart. And again, here is an ideal org to address the moral values of society and ensure human rights are broadly known so that no one suffers at the hands of another and everyone walks tall, except you, Musky. <laughs> well, if only to cap it, this is only a church to blanket your city with the truth about drugs and thereby ripple it out across the rest of California and these United States of America. But, as an ideal org is not merely stone and steel, but a community of Scientologists who aptly, who apply that technology and implement those programs, we come to all that makes Sacramento so special. And specifically, I'm talking about the depth of commitment to one another and the decades of friendship. 
I'm also talking about the three generations of Scientologists you now represent and the extended families therein. In short, I'm talking a community in the most meaningful sense of the word and the fact that Scientology itself is communal. In as much as no one goes free alone. Then again, I'm also talking uh, how your community extends to the rest of this geographic zone, beginning with your fleet of ten missions, uh, uh, presenting portals to the bridge, that's capitalized the bridge, across more than 12,000 square miles from Tree Niebecker, Niebecker's River Park Mission and all the way to Chico. Robin Walker's Capital Mission and all the way east of Reno through Auburn. Roseville, Folsom, Davis, Elk Grove. He's just pulling names out because if you know the geographies, like they're not lined up the way he's naming them. Doesn't sound like a guy who visited them. Anyway, uh, uh, Elk Grove, all the way down south of Stockton. At least he you knows that knows that's south of us. Got that right. And all playing strategic roles in the saga of building this ideal org. Then again, I'm also talk, talking all. Wait. Then again, I'm also talking all else you provide across the length and breadth of this zone, presenting introductory Scientology through I help groups in the field, safeguarding every family through the Citizens Commission on human rights, providing for prosperity through WISE, for literacy and learning through applied scholastics, and for self-respect and drug-free lives through Criminon uh, and Narconon, now combined it all with the fact that each and every one was also a player in building and meeting your ideal org. It's all connected. And further factor in that flag train technician team your executive director mentioned, although she forgot to mention the fact that it numbers more than any technical compliment at any previous grand opening. Kind of screwed up there. If you're not angry, musky. Even greater than Moscow. Yeah, let's talk about that. The Oscow, Moscow Org. I'd like to talk about that. So, total it all. And not only have you fulfilled every slogan you live by, but yet another phrase we recognize today is Sacramento best dot org dot field ever. But there's that oft-repeated phrase, ideal orgs are designed to provide for a golden age about to dawn at every level of the grain chart. Of course, since that announcement was first made, you witnessed a golden age of knowledge complete with the full restoration of LRH's legacy, wherein it is now possible to follow the step-by-step -step path of LRH development and research. So, too, you have witnessed the dawn of a new golden age in the public phase, with the full recovery of LRH introductory rates from Dianetics Book 1 seminars, and co-audits uh, to Scientology itself. 
and personal efficiency and full array of life improvement courses, providing the senior data for every aspect of living. But the truth is, all you have thus far seen only sets the table for what is about to come. As a matter of fact, it has all been building for what is just around the corner. So, if you have also heard it said that our ideal orgs are all in preparation for a monumental push towards planetary clearing, and that speed of progress of the bridge is about to accelerate exponentially by quantum leaps and bounds, and that academic ac academies will soon be turning out armies of auditors at a speed you won't believe. I already don't. Which, in turn, will generate new group, new groups, missions, and orgs at whole new orders of magnitude? Well, it's all too true, and it's barely a heartbeat away. So, if ever you dreamed of living in the midst of great things, then your dream has now come true. And while you may not grasp the meaning of it yet, the fact is, no matter what's on the horizon, it's only possible with an ideal org. Which is why, when we pull down that ribbon, you will live on in legend forever. We'll sing songs about you guys. Uh, then there's that phrase so emblematic of this day. And this moment, the one that reads, It's your org. Own it. Now, of course, not everyone has yet glimpsed. <laughs> what lies behind these doors? When you do, you will not only gain new appreciation for the word's pride of ownership, but you will also know why those who played an extraordinary role in making this moment possible deserve our undying gratitude. Well, they signed a billion-year contract, didn't they? Something like that. <laughs> undying. Yeah. Then again, you'll know why their names will ring out in the annals of history for generations to come. And so, in light of both your accomplishment and your style, it's only fitting we thank all our humanitarians and contributors for their exemplification of target attainment. It sounds so militant. But of course, within every team, there are those who lead, inspire, and otherwise roll in ways that can only be described as heroic. Napoleon. All right. Those who embodied your spirit of play, who imbued every energy drive with insouciance, who worked every angle all over the court, and who personified persistence, uh, perseverance, and raw determination. Couldn't think of something that started to be there. I'd like to personally recognize, to begin with, it's a pair of platinum humanita humanitarians whose joy of creating proved positively infectious. Sam and Martha uh, Bosfield, you will always be remembered for your showmanship. 
and I thank you for playing the game with such flair. Is that that birthday game? Playing the game with such flair. Anyway, it's a game they're playing. And they do it with flair. Then there's the Platinum Humanitarians, who not only live and breathe that word dedication, as staff in your new ideal org, but who exemplify why Sacramento rocks. No, it rocked before you guys came to muck it up. But it's all stylish. I don't really mind, actually. Just one more church. They're all weird to me. Tom Virginia Jensen. I thank you and I salute you. Then again, there's your new civilization builders. Stephen, Wendy, Lynn, Heckman. They documented the saga in all its glory. In full technicolor, galvanizing the team by whatever means necessary. Thank you for always being there and keeping your vision ever in sight. It will forever stand as the record of how your ideal lord was won. And then there was the Alley family. Is that like Christy Alley? <laughs> there was the Alley family, most notably Gabby, with his sister Ashley, riding shotgun, and renowned as the ultimate big guy who answered every question with, you gotta do it. And we proceeded to do so. We tip our hats to you and thank you all. Then there are those who demanded the best and insisted that green was the only way to go and to guarantee it was as good as gold. They backed it as stunning. Silver Lake Wait, Silver New Civilization. Silver New Civilizations. Civilization Builders. And for that feat, not only I, but the whole of Sacramento will forever thank Bob Graves and Judy Norton. When employing such phrases as networking and multitasking, through every facet of an ideal orc crusade. We're talking about someone you'd never describe as shy. As a matter of fact, she personifies OT achievements by bringing it home as your OT committee chair. Kay Daly so, on behalf of all Scientology, I thank you, and yes, it was all worth it. And then, there's the resonating voice of your ideal, or crusade. And a passionate player, who was instrumental in originally securing this building... Don Pearson, in perfect harmony with his wife, D. In fact, you were actually the first on Earth to acquire premises for an ideal or Good job. Working for the group. So, we not only thank you, we applaud you, as it would have never been done without you. Thank you. And finally, we come 
to the one who originally pledged himself to carry the message to Garcia, who originally inspired uh, the change for this building and embraced the whole concept of an ideal org as belonging to a community and giving to a community. Well, what stands before you now is a building resurrected from the original fabric of this city and thus a building that gives back by its very presence. So yes, Denise, Dennis, uh, Dennis, McKenna, you told me you'd get Sacramento done and you did. And I know I am not alone when I say you are not only a hero of Sacramento, but you're also now a legend in our ideal art crusade. Thank you. With that, we come to a whole new chapter in your saga. For when that ribbon falls, it signifies a solemn pledge. It's a pledge to employ the full measure of what lies within these walls on behalf of this city. It's a pledge to make a world for which we can be proud. A world without insanity, criminality, illiteracy, and immorality. A world where the able can prosper, where honest beings have rights and all are free to rise to a greater heights. That's our responsibility as Scientologists. And yes, a responsibility we willingly embrace. So, for now, wait, so for any who might ask what it, so for any who might ask what it means to build an ideal org, it means we are offering unimaginable freedom to everyone who ever wondered if such freedom is possible. And that is the enduring legacy you've now left in your wake, a legacy to live as long as stars shine and planets swing. <laughs> so yes, your names are flown into the brick and mortar of what we inaugurate today. And yes, these words from LRH have never carried more meaning. You are the makings of a better world from eons past into, and into the future. This is a time to remember, end quote. Oh wait, there's another quote here. And with that, oh wait, that's now muskrat. Uh, and with that, let it further be known that from here on out, you are Sacramento.org. Eternity. They own our asses now. See a thought. I like this one. See, so you go over there and I'll show you uh, one of their e meters and you can see a thought. Watch what happened. Anyway, um, I'm going to have some more fun with this. I, I, I especially enjoyed this picture. Notice anything wrong with it? That's the Sacramento Ideal Org. First of all, it's... Where's the park benches? And, I mean... Did they take them out for this picture? I mean... Or is it a very good artist, artist rendering? Or maybe they just photoshopped them out. Anyhow, yeah. That, well, I hope you found that edifying, and I hope it was worth it. Stay tuned. There's more fun stuff in this uh, in this pub. I don't know why they're sending this up to my mom, but uh, she doesn't care for it. She just burns it. I told her to start saving it for me. So stay tuned.
Kate's book out. Oh, wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. 